guys, this is another episode of Cars and Cuisine and I'm your host Simon Aline and I am driving the 2018 Hyundai i20 Active and as the name suggests, it's a pretty perky car with a 1.4 litre engine, it has really good features and the good thing about this vehicle is that it has a good resale value and it is a joy to drive. So join me as I go on the road with the Hyundai i20 Active. 2018 Hyundai i20 Active is a true crossover vehicle with improved ground clearance, roof rails, skid plates and 16 inch alloy rims. The Hyundai i20 Active has a modern interior with two-tone colors, lots of storage and legroom for passengers. This car boasts a peppy 1.4 liter engine that is responsive and offers good performance with fuel efficiency. Simon says test drive a Hyundai i20 Active today. Okay guys, don't get confused. This is not a restaurant that I am at. But the important thing is that we try to do things different with cars and cuisine. I am actually at the home of a friend of mine. A gentleman that has a desire for Beijing cuisine and that loves the kitchen and loves to cook. So soon, we'll be talking to none other than Mr. Steve Blackett. First of all, I want to thank you for welcoming me to your home today. How are you doing, man? I'm doing very well, thanks. Yes, I've been welcome, great. of course, to our house. Of uh, course. <laughs> as, a, as an older married man, you are, I just want to remind you that you have to include the wife. Yeah, all right. And the property owner to take away. I totally agree. Uh, uh, man, but first of all, we, we love how your house looks. We love the layout. It is really a, a home. Yeah. You feel the warmth, even in terms of the colors, mm -hmm. in terms of the location. And of course, you have such a nice garden. Mm -hmm. I'm even seeing a hummingbird, you know. Yes. It's, it's full of life, team over life and activity. And that's yeah, how that's a home right. yes. should be. Mm -hmm. And speaking of home, center to any home will be food. You know, because it's at the dining table that you eat, you talk, and you discuss things. Yeah. So first of all, Steve, where did your desire for cooking and, and being in the kitchen come from? I, I was raised by my paternal grandmother, of course. And when I left uh, that domestic, domestic situation, I course when in the living on my own so you have to provide for your own yes. and therefore like I said if you want to survive you have to to learn to cook true um, my, my house at the, at the time the apartment was the sort of the um, central focus of where um, my friends gathered mm -hmm. and of course you have to learn quickly to to provide a meal not only for yourself but for your friends exactly if you're entertaining um, that's right yeah. and this question of practice makes perfect mm -hmm. um, I um, over the years of uh, gather some skills and in, in terms of cuisine and all of that mm -hmm. um, and I do all the cooking here in this house you do all the cooking all the cooking um, from wow. breakfast uh, right through so your wife um, your wife is a lucky woman oh, she yes, is blessed right. wife for sure extremely, extremely <laughs> <so>. <laughs> uh, of course there's one meal that I, I can't uh, do very well that is cuckoo oh so you're learning you're learning to improve oh, on it. yeah I, I can do a little thing but I don't risk it um, because Eleanor she does okay she does Eleanor does it yeah, that's right so she only yesterday we had cuckoo actually mm -hmm. cuckoo and salvage, so all right there you go nice. but I, I do most of the other cooking um, in the house what is one of your favorite meals to prepare well you're going to be fortunate today because the, the meal that i've actually prepared today is considered one of my favorites all right um, but it wasn't one that came out or originated in a cookbook it's one that i would have created out of my own um, creative juices all right that would have flowed um, into the kitchen um, mm -hmm. uh, so you, you'll have a an opportunity to, to taste this meal. Uh, it is um, a cheesy um, baked rice. Oh, nice. and, and I believe that that Akita would have given. Uh, would have <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> Keeper, she, 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 she loves it. She loves that. She would have mm. fixed, you know, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Particular meal. Um, 
and of course with um, sweet and sour pork. Sweet and sour pork. Sweet and sour pork yeah. So guys, I might be getting my hands a little <laughs> dirty today. I'm going to be trying to do a little prep work. We'll see yeah. how it goes. Uh -huh. But we want to thank Steve. Steve, thank yeah. you so much for having us in your home. Wonderful. So we look forward to getting into that kitchen mm. and tasting that cheesy mm. rice and of course your sweet and sour pork. Absolutely. Cars and cuisine, guys. I am here at the Blackets and of course Steve has really put on a spread here for us. I'm um, looking at all of the, the wonderful dishes here prepared. I'm going to ask Steve a couple of questions about them. So Steve, we have here, I can see that there's a tricolored kind of pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, well, uh, uh, some of the uh, the pasta and the, and the salads are, were actually done by Eleanor, so I just want to give her credit. Okay, Eleanor, yeah, okay, wow, 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 excellent. So, uh, so this is stir-fried um, pasta, mm -hmm. um, of course with the vegetables. Pepper. Yes. It has in um, broccoli and mm -hmm. it looks so beautiful. It's so nice. Let us say some carrot. Yeah, favorite with some garlic, yeah. garlic butter. Mm -hmm. And this here is the traditional traditional sauce salad. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing some nice raisins mm -hmm. or craisins in there. Yeah, nice. That's right. Yes, along with the regular mm -hmm. uh, inputs for the sauce salad. Yeah, lettuce and um, mm -hmm. of course cucumber and everything. Right. And of course, every Bayesian loves coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Your coleslaw looks a little different. Mm -hmm. So the type of cabbages that you use here. Yes, it's a different kind of cabbage. It's, um, uh, I, I don't know what's the name of the cabbage, but I love it also. Like red light, yeah. Red light, so give it some color. Yeah, it some texture. Clearly. I mean, a different, different hue. I can the, see that. To the, uh, and we are here over to your specialty, the mm -hmm. one that Kifa loves to, um, you told me gourmandise. She eats all of it. <laughs> this is the cheesy back, rice. She comes back for seconds. She comes back for seconds too. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cheesy rice. Uh -huh. It looks lovely. I can't wait to taste it. So of course the main ingredient of course would be rice and the cheese. Rice, and cheese, of course, mustard, sugar. Sugar? Yes, that's right. Wow. Um, and of course I added some mixed vegetables to mm -hmm. give it some character and some flavor. Mm -hmm. um, so that's basically when you bake it, of course, it's baked. It's baked? Yeah. Okay. okay good. Lovely. And of course in the center for me, mm -hmm. the sweet and sour pork. Mm -hmm. This is not the Chinese variety at all. This <laughs> is the Asian. <laughs> or should I say this is the black it? <laughs> This That's is right. the black it sweet and absolutely, sour pork. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. It looks lovely. The core. It Bages looks the lovely. Mm -hmm. And the, the, I can see you got some some potatoes on but, it as yes, well. That's right. So, um, so the sweetness is in the sauce, of course. Absolutely in the sauce, yes. <laughs> and, uh, I can give you the ingredients of the sauce, but I'll have to kill you after. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Always a secret <laughs> ingredient. But this is lovely, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to eat this food, but also to let's enjoy the ambience here at the black it's, and of mm -hmm. course the conversation. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Not only am I tasting the flavor of the cheese, but you said sugar. Mm -hmm. It has a Swedish flavor too as well. This is unique. Mm -hmm. I've never had cheesy rice, guys. And yeah. you know what? It's wonderful. This mm -hmm. cheesy rice is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Let's try this unit sour pork now. Mm -hmm. I can see all the spices and herbs in it already. Look, look at that. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. The pork is so soft. It's not rubbery. It's not. This is probably a suckling pig. Suckling. This, <laughs> <laughs> this cannot be a big sour pig. <laughs> <big boar. laughs> no, no, no. Old boar. Old boar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lovely, man. Mm. This is lovely. Pasta. I'm going to try the pasta from Eleanor. Vegetable mm -hmm. pasta. Vegetable pasta from Eleanor. Mmm. I can taste the, the gentle hint of the garlic butter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet peppers, nice. As well as the broccoli. Mm -hmm. You have carrot in it as well. Yeah. Carrots. Onion. onion. This is lovely. Mm-hmm. Nothing better than a home cooked meal. A Sunday home cooked meal with family or friends. And I'm so grateful to be here at the Blackets enjoying this cheesy rice, this sweet and sour pork, of course, the pasta and the coleslaw. So this has been another edition of Cars and Cuisine. We were on the road today with the Hyundai i20 Active, a really um, nimble vehicle. So make sure you go to my friends at Courtesy and check it out. And until next time, this is Simon Aline with Cars and Cuisine.